What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming here to bring you guys our strategy on how to beat Golgoroth on hard mode. Yes, I'm going to tell you guys the mechanics. I'm going to tell you our strategy and this works perfectly with LFG groups. People who aren't very good or just aren't familiar with the raid. Very, very simple strategy, you guys. So be sure to share it with everyone so everyone can beat this part. Um, it's not too difficult. It's not too different from normal mode, but hey that's what we're here for is to bring you guys positivity and bring you guys ways to beat this raid so as you guys see that we are killing all the ads on the left and right side all we did was just split up the groups in three and three but we put the two gaze catchers which will be my brother and i on the left side and then we have three on the right and then just one more additional person on the left with us our build is um not too crazy but you do i recommend having at least one weapons of light titan also at least one or two hunters with the tether uh, it works pretty well and you'll see exactly how we do it so after we kill all the ads i'm going to say this in advance so when it comes you guys can see that we are going to be knocking those orbs down the order of the orbs is going to be l1 l2 r1 r2 l1 being the closest one on the left l2 being the, the next one on the left then r1 being the closest one on the right and then r2 being the closest or the next one on the right um so right now uh, my brother has the gaze he's gonna give me a timer at about 10 9 10 seconds i'm gonna book it over here over to golgrath's back and i'm gonna wait for that one second mark and i'm gonna shoot um that one was pretty close because he called it out just a little bit late but hey just make sure that you got the movements down and then I'm just running around. I know those orbs are, are really dangerous and they're gonna be they're gonna be shooting you, but you just gotta just keep running around. Alright, so then now I'm gonna give my brother uh, the call out or the next gaze catcher a call out of the time and he's gonna go and get it. And then I'm gonna rotate down here and do damage um, on Golgoroth and then he's gonna give me the time again. Uh, and then it's just it's just rinse and repeat you know the gaze catchers the duty of the gaze catchers is probably the most important in this you want to make sure that you're giving your team ample time as well as the call outs and communication with the other gaze catcher to then just have a flawless Golgoroth run now if you're in the goo down there you can get um, what I like to call poison uh, just to make it simple um, if you get the poison uh, you pretty much become into a human bomb and if you're down there with your teammates as you saw the guy, that guy right there that looks like he's like sick because he has that thing over his head he, he just and he just blew up on screen he just needs to be as far away from the teammates as possible then after he blows up then he needs to go down again uh, into the goo and then you know as you keep going uh, there'll be different people or the same person that'll get uh, poisoned um, whatever it is called just make sure that you uh, just get out and get to a safe location uh, what we did was we actually assigned a location for that individual so that he uh, or she would not um, cause the team to wipe so once again just rinse and repeat uh, you guys are probably like why are you only doing four orbs um the strategy we're doing if we were doing it with a, a team of six experienced raiders we can actually go through all six orbs no problem and probably two wave golgoroth um, with this strategy if everyone does ample damage you can three wave golgoroth which hey that's not that's not too bad right um keep in mind that there are certain things in this raid um from what i know i could be wrong that if you die from the poison or if you die from something else, i don't know what you cannot self res um we had a big i, I know you guys saw my last video on how to be oryx and i talked about how we kind of got screwed out of worlds first because we thought that bungie actually just took out self res altogether I still don't know what went wrong. I st I w I'm not a warlock. I don't main a warlock. I'm a hunter, but we had two warlocks that we were playing with, and, and we did the whole raid uh, on day one uh, as a top 10 team to finish without uh, self-res. So even though we didn't get uh, Worlds first, I still think that's a pretty good accomplishment to get it done um, that fast without um, self-res. And then as you see, you know, me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty risky player when it comes to these raids because, you know, I, I'm a perfectionist. I like to learn everything. I like to do as much as I possibly can for my team. Um, so I'm always, as a gaze catcher, you want to always 
um, tether Golgoroth or, or do massive damage. You know, when I do jump down, I notice that if you if you cycle correctly and you jump down, you can probably put a full clip of sniper plus a, a few red death shots or whatever primary you have, and then just get going to go get that gaze. And it's so easy to get the gaze once you get to Golgoroth's back, and he will not stomp you um, if you do it uh, strategically. Because uh, most of the time when he has the gaze, he's busy focus, you know, focusing on the other guy. Now, I was running close to this guy. That was kind of scary. I shouldn't have done that. But he was smart and he went to the corner. Just pushing the person that has a poison all the way to the corner. Uh, poison bomb or whatever you want to call it. That helps the most. So once again, guys, clear the ads. And then L1, L2, R1, R2. It's a four orb strategy, but it works so well with new groups and and you know people that you're just trying to help finish the raid and if it's not working i strongly recommend having everyone watch the video so that way um you know everyone knows what's going on because uh, not everyone just learns from from verbal um knowledge some a lot of people actually learn from visual knowledge as well so there you go guys and the tether is great on the ads down low because they won't they'll just you know be walking around and cowering and they're not going to be able to shoot you, which actually really makes a very good difference. So, and then we kill him, and then we're just keep going. If you get, man, I wish I had the footage for the world's first gold rod that we did, because we finished it with like three people. It was insane. We were doing a one orb strategy, finish it with three people, because three of our guys died, and we didn't know that you could use self res. But, anyways, guys, there's the strategy. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. Um, I saw a lot of people putting their gamertag and console in the com comments below. That's a great way that you know the people saw this video, right? Other people watching it. Comment your gamertag and console and then team up with people that have seen the strategy. Go and get it done. You know, be ready for Trials of Osiris this week. As you guys know, we will be carrying in Trials of Osiris. And all the links to that are in the description. So, check it out. Connect with us um if you want to get carried or or whatever it is just tune into the live stream because we're going to be doing it um i have tons and tons of great guides and tutorials coming including some halo 5 gameplay i've been a halo player for a very very long time so don't hate me um for putting such a great game that bungie first did create so i love you guys i'll see you in the next video big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and stay blessed peace out